Object Class Alpha Yellow Registered Phenomena Code 219 Hazard Types Auditory Hazard Sensory Hazard Ideological Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-219 is to be contained within a standard containment locker in Site-002's Low Security Containment Wing. Due to RPC-219's fidelity loss from repeated use, all experimentation must be cleared by a Level 4 Administrator. RPC-219 is a Maxwell brand microcassette with the Made In label scratched off. It bears marks of rigorous use, as its labels have worn off and it bears a series of small cracks running across its surface. The microcassette contains a single 7-minute audio track for its entire runtime, consisting of a combination of discordant mechanical noise, staccato drum beats, and a distorted bass guitar riff. Anomalous effects begin to manifest in several stages after a human subject, now designated RPC-219-1, listens to the audio track in its entirety. Time elapsed, anomalous effects. 10 minutes. RPC-219-1 will begin to display symptoms of excoriation disorder, as well as a marked increase in appetite. Excoriation disorder is a mental illness related to obsessive-compulsive disorder. Affected individuals frequently pick at healthy skin, minor skin irregularities, such as pimples or calluses, lesions or scabs. Subjects will often express desire for a meal, and subjects fed during this stage avoid any symptoms of the later stages. Subjects show a clear preference for red meat over alternatives. 1 hour. RPC-219-1 will begin demanding meat, insisting that they are starving. Subject will refuse any food aside from meat, despite any prior dietary restrictions, whether related to illness or ideology. If left unfed, RPC-219-1 will develop symptoms of autophagia and proceed to gnaw at their extremities, despite being in obvious pain. Autophagia is a tendency to consume portions of oneself. 3 hours. At this point, RPC-219-1 will have removed one or more extremities usually digits or toes. Subjects display symptoms of shock, yet do not lose consciousness despite grievous injuries. Subject will lie stationary on the ground and attempt to lure any onlookers in the vicinity closer, often by pleading for help or medical aid. 219-1 will lunge at those who approach within two meters and attempt to disable them by severing major tendons in the legs. 219-1 will proceed to beginning with non-vital tissues. Within five minutes of the death of the prey, anomalous effects in 219-1 cease as they fall into shock and lose consciousness. Surviving subjects remember their actions while under 219's effects, but do not understand what motivated them to do so. The anomalous effects of RPC-219 can be mitigated via amnestic treatment. However, Exposed individuals still exhibit Stage 1 symptoms of RPC-219 exposure. Attempts to copy RPC-219 into new media formats have been made, with mixed results. Copies may display lower-level anomalous effects than the original, with exposed subjects only suffering the effects of the first stage. This effect is consistent across several media formats, including compact disc and digital storage. Addendum Discovery Logs the Authority was alerted to RPC-219's presence by agents embedded in the Police Department in 19. During the investigation of a mauling outside of a gym in California, a detective assigned to the case was apparently exposed to the contents of RPC-219. The anomalous effects began to manifest during the autopsy, as the detective proceeded to remove his shoes and an Authority cleanup team took the bodies. Along with RPC-219, and amnestics were administered to the non-authority staff present during the incident. Addendum 219-Alpha Level 4-02 Clearance Required As of 2019, the Authority has recovered nine separate instances of RPC-219. Said instances have came on cassettes from several otherwise non-anomalous brands, but all bear significant signs of wear and tear. Instances that are still in working order are to be taken to the 19th Anomalous Research Center, to be stored in Locker 47 in the Low Security Wing. 
The research division has found these cassettes to be pirated recordings of two or more radio broadcasts in the continental United States. While all of the recordings bear distortion inherent to a FM radio broadcast, one was found to contain the call letters for an existing radio station in Arkansas. An observation post has been established at the insistence of Regional Director to monitor anomalous effects in the local population. Memo from Director Level 5K Administrator Clearance Required I need you to follow my logic. Our analysis shows that all these cassettes have been copied from a series of broadcasts across the entire continental United States. The copies our techs have made show drastically reduced anomalous effects in comparison to the originals, but you know all this already. These copies have the power to turn a rational human being into a gibbering cannibal, and the original was pumped directly into the ears of up to tens of thousands of Americans. What were the effects of the original broadcast? Who is broadcasting it? The observation post in Arkansas is the only step we have taken, and the radio station there was shut down over 30 years ago. I am petitioning the Global Director for a comprehensive investigation of these broadcasts. We simply cannot afford to let this continue unabated.